Hello, Cancer. This is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Cancer individuals, so please keep that in mind. I say it a lot, but some people don't, don't hear this part. Cancer, December 2018. Cancer, December 2018. Full Celtic Cross Comprehensive Cancer. Hope November treated you well. But we're going to see what December is going to bring. Let's see what the incoming energies are. Got to split them up. The Hierophant in reverse. You may have been dealing with the incoming energies of broken contracts, separations, um, things not working out that was that you considered solid or society considers solid, such as, like I said, contracts, jobs, marriages, ceremonies, family get-togethers. It's all like that. It's in reverse for some reason. Seven of Cups in reverse. Not liking anything that's offered to you or not accepting any offers that you do not like. It depends on the situation. It also could be, depending on the cards that are next to it, that you're really accepting situations that are not good for you. That depends on what else I bring up here. we got to see. That's why I use clarifiers for the masses here at um, YouTube. Could have to do with money finances. You may be a little bit worried about some of the options you have chosen were not very good for this. And you may be closing things off around you and being very careful of what you consider in the future because you're, you are thinking about your future uh, wealth and income and retirement and all those things that have to do with money. The goal, cutting something out possibly, saying your truth, putting yourself out there. Foundation, dealing with the Prince of Discs, it is in reverse. This could be an earth, earth energy or someone taking on that energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. In the past, you had a lover situation. Some uh, a compatible situation, someone you mirrored, that mirrored you, that you got along with it in the past. They're there as someone you loved, someone you had a partnership with. Not this for them. It doesn't matter how much I shuffle, because I shuffle these prior concentrating on your sign. For some reason, I'm getting um, still the same cards for some of you. So some of you may be dealing with, uh, who did I read for last? Geminis. Some of you may be dealing with Gemini. Same, some of you may be dealing with... Um, Taurus. But what I got here is a Six of Cups in reverse. It could be thinking about the past too much. It could be someone coming back from the past that you don't want back or someone just not coming back. I got to clarify. All these cards can have different meanings with whatever's next to it. I'm going to put four more out. This, These are I'm going to clarify these because it's the current, what's going on in the near future. This is more of the distant future, what's coming towards you or outside environment, and the advice card from the universe. Mm -hmm. It's not me giving the advice as much as the universe is. Now, we got the debauchery card, they call it, in this deck. But it also is called uh, something of the sort as not making very good decisions. It could be that you're just turning this situation down, all these options you don't like, all these offers that are out there. You don't like any of them. You think they will cost you with the Ten of uh, Coin crossing it. Now, why is that there for cancer? Ace of Swords again. You may be cutting something out totally. Or you may be speaking up and saying, oh, hell no. Okay? Can I get another card for the uh, Seven of Cups, Ten of Coin, and the Ace of Swords? Yeah, you, something comes out you don't like. You think it's going to affect your livelihood. You may cut it out, speak your truth, or like I said, say hell no. Now, Ace of Swords, 
is your goal. We already said that what that was about, but let me see if I can get clarifiers for that. It's, ooh. Because you're not going to be betrayed. You're going to tell them, because, you, you know, they're trying to betray you, or they tried to betray you in the past, or whatever, and you're really going to, you know, stick it to them. You're going to let them know that they're not doing this with that Ten of Swords in reverse. Can I get another card for the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse? Better to have that in reverse because you're get going for success. The heck with this, you're saying. Prince of Dis as the foundation in reverse while you're there. Remember, I said that could be an Earth energy or someone taking on that energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Why you there, Prince of Dis? Why you there for cat for Cancer? Why you there for Cancer? You didn't have a victory with this person because you got the Six of Wands in reverse. Can I get another card for the Prince of Dis and the Six of Wands in reverse? Yeah, you're coming out of disappointment, but you're not happy with them. You're saying I didn't have a victory. And this may be the person you're cutting out, or maybe they're cutting you out. Because sometimes this has to do with the cross-watcher, you know? <clears throat> but someone is cutting definitely something out. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is, this is air I'm breathing in here. <clears throat> Dry air. The lover's card is in the past. Let's find out what that's about. You loved someone, you cared for something, you really enjoyed something, you thought it was for you, but the lovers in the past, in the upright, why are you there for cancer? It had to do with this princess of, of wands, someone taking on this energy, you could be taking on this energy, believe it or not, or it's just a passionate energy. If it's not a passionate energy, and, it's a, and if it's a fire sign, it could be uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. But this person is in the upright. This is passion. This is excitement. This is enjoying yourself and living again and feeling young again. But let me get another card. The lover's card with the princess of wands. Why are you there? For cancer. But there was strife. There was embattlement. There was competition. He said, she said. She said, she said, he said, he said, whatever. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and let these out and rock the boat. Someone losing strength in the situation. Queen of Swords is also involved, or it could be just this Queen of Swords energy. There may be some competition out there in a love situation between a fire and earth element, or they have it in their chart. Queen of Swords is, I call it respectively, uh, the... Uh, resting bitch phase. They have that constantly. They're able to carry that off because they're not someone you mess with. They, they, they just don't tolerate stuff. And sometimes they can get a little cruel with their words. You know, when they when they say something, it cuts like a knife. So they're, I don't like messing with the Queen of Wands when they're turned around. <clears throat> it's very easy for the, anybody, any sign to get turned around. But you're losing strength with the situation, with the um, Nine of Wands in reverse. This is past energy I'm talking about, remember. Now, in the near future, got the Six of Cups. It's in reverse, and that can mean so many things, so I do need to clarify that. Six of Cups in reverse, why are you there? For Cancer in the near, very near future. You're thinking about to someone in the past too much is leaving you feeling off balance. Even though you're having your say and cutting them off, you're still going to be thinking about it. It's still going to be irritating you. Six of Cups with the art card in reverse, also known as temperance. In reverse, why are you there? Now, you're thinking about how you could have been happy and you thought you were going to be happy with them and it turns out it just left you feeling uncomfortable and unbalanced and not feeling very secure about yourself. That's just in the near future. That's more. This is more thoughts and feelings with this Six of Cups. Remember, Cups is feelings. And it could be for just a few of you, because of Mercury and Retrograde, that someone may come back and leave you unbalanced because they're thinking of the happy thoughts they used to have with you, but you may cut it out anyway. at least in the very beginning. 
because that was your goal to cut it out. It may not be your ending now. Uh, possible future outcome or advice from the universe. Ace of Cups, a new love offer. Ace of Cups, why are you there? Ace of Cups, why are you there for cancer? Because there was heartbreak before. Could be the universe. Look for something new or new love offer, even though your heart has been broke. Don't let new love pass you by because of what something else had happened in your life with the Three of Swords. With whatever broke your heart. Don't go cold on everybody. Okay? Can I get another card for the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords? You know, you're. The universe, if it's advice from the universe, is saying don't reject new love offers with just because you you had unfortunate situations that broke your heart, that caused sorrow. Don't close your, yourself off from the world because someone positive may come in that will offer you something of kindness and love. Now, I'm not saying or someone could ask for a restart. For some of you, I'm saying if it is the outcome, someone may come up and offer you something that possibly broke your heart before. But like I said, if it's advice from the universe, it's saying just don't give up love in general just because someone else didn't appreciate it. What is coming towards you or the outside environment? Mmm, movement is here. Now, for a very, very few of you, and i got to put this out there, some of you could be getting a new vehicle. Or some of you could be offered to take a trip. Or someone could be coming to see you. It's about movement, the chariot, and things moving forward. Sometimes a little chaotic, but it's moving quickly towards you with the chariot. Why are you there, chariot, for cancer? I like the chariot. I like anything that's movement. Ah, so it could be someone from the past for a few of you, okay? It's a six of cups because it's coming towards you. It's the outside environment. Things moving pretty quickly with the six... Of cups, someone's maybe thinking about you too, but you may not still accept it right away, or not accept it because you're thinking about cutting something out. <laughs> Can I get another card for the chariot moving quickly towards Cancer with the six of cups in reverse? Yeah, someone who's not letting you know everything, but you've got they're they're still trying to keep things hidden, or they're trying to keep things under wraps. Or they just don't know how what to expect from you because of high priestess in reverse. It's about mysteries and in 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 reverse, especially, they're just not trusting what their gut instinct is telling them. In some cases, you will see them for what they are because it's in reverse from someone from the past. It's coming towards you though. I do not know exactly what that's about. For all of you, because I'm reading for the masses, so it'll be a little different. You can leave it in the comments if it's not too personal. But what it will be coming towards you if it's quick. Could be just information you're hearing too. A lot of information coming towards you. But not necessarily. I see that as more physical movement. Hopes and fears, the Prince of Swords, the air energy, someone taking on an energy, or, or it could be an air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, they're in the upright. Maybe you're hoping that someone stays in the upright and, and becomes stable. Maybe you're hoping for this type of person. I don't think you're fearing this person. You could be, but they're in the upright, so I don't know. You can tell me in the comments. Prince of Swords, why are you there? For Cancer, why are you there as a hopes and fears? Remember, is this men mental situation? This is what's in your mind. Why are you there, Prince of Swords? This could be male or female. It doesn't have to be one or other. You're thinking it's a failed situation with them. You're afraid of a failed situation with them. Or you think it'll never get better. Can I get another card for the Prince of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles, which is also called the Failure card, or working on something, thinking about it, working on it, considering what to do with it. It has to do with a contract, marriage, the status quo. <clears throat> has to do with, like I said, the Hierophant. I do, I do believe I explained that earlier. 
but this is your hopes and fears so you don't have to really pay attention too much to it but the final final outcome is you're not going to stand up for yourself possibly after all or you could be overly defensive i need another card to know for sure there's so many different definitions seven of wands in reverse why are you there you know i think you may get a little defensive but i got i can't really say yet why are you there seven of wands Mm, yeah, you may get a little defensive. You may say, oh, really? I've heard that one before. The full card in reverse, you're not going to just put yourself out there again. You're not trusting just to jump into any old thing. You're going to think about it. Seven of Wands with the full card in reverse while you're there. There it is again, seven of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're going to a little, little defensive. You're like saying, been there, done that, not doing it again. I got your number. I'm not playing this. You're not going to bring me my happily ever after. Still, in, it's someone from the past. Love situation, like I said. Things probably came out. You're not going to just accept any offer with the seven of cups in reverse. Ace of Swords, you got that tw twice. That's cutting things out, having your say, having your truth, putting yourself out there. But in the near future, someone may you may hear from somebody or somebody may tell you something about this person. I'll leave you unbalanced, even though you're trying to regain your happiness. The universe saying a new love can come in if you let it. But don't worry. Try not to think about the heartbreak and the unfortunate situation. Because new love will eventually come, and you do have something coming towards you, but it could be someone from the past, or that that has something to do with your past. It could have there's something to do with your past, but something is coming towards you, and it could be someone offering a new love offer with just a few of you. Like I said, also for a few of you, it could be a new new vehicle. Maybe someone from the past is going to say, "I want you to have this car," or just for a couple of you. You're worried about the Prince of Swords. You're worried about failure and maybe even um, relationships, ceremonial, marriages, commitment. Or that you're wanting commitment, but you're also fearing the failure. You will get defensive. You're not taking on anything new because you're not trusting anything. Even though the universe is saying don't close your heart completely, you may do so because you don't believe in the happily ever after with the Ten of Cups. So, Cancer, I know you had a rough time. You're having rough times. I see it in the astrology. And it's affecting all of you sometime or another pretty harshly. But remember, don't just push out everybody forever. I know you're not ready. Some of you, some of you are. Some of you are not ready. Something is coming towards you, but don't be overly defensive. I'm not telling you to jump in any old thing. I'm just saying not everybody's evil. It's okay to investigate, but not everybody's evil. And you're just looking down. This is all feelings, Ten of Cups. You're feeling this in reverse. I'm not going to get my happily ever after. But you got to get that out of your head so positive things can come in. Easier said than done, right? Well, I'm going to come back for another reading, hopefully before the middle of December and give you something else. Maybe some other energy will come in. It could be a totally different energy. But this is for you, and I will let this go, and I will talk to you later. See you in the comments. Bye.